So you've officially been nominated. Can you tell me what this means for you and your candidacy? Um, well, it's always a privilege uh, to be able to give in, to give, be given the opportunity to serve our people of Corozano. So we are all excited um, and we're happy. We're happy that this process has happened. We can leave it behind and we can focus now what we need to focus, which is to make sure that we win on March 6th. And what will you be doing moving forward to ensure that? Well, the, the work continues. As a council, because you're elected, the work continues. But of course, on the campaign trail, we'll still be visiting our people, uh, asking and pledging for that support on March 6th. Here, I'm very privileged and honored. I'm feeling energized. I thank all the supporters who came out this morning. It is showing that the PUP is still strong here in Corozal. We are ready to continue the work with Mayor Rigo Veos and my team PUP7. It's much harder to promote yourself as an independent candidate. So what are you doing to let people be aware that you're running? Well, I have been, like I told you, I've been working in the Corozal for years. I even have, you know, things that I did in the past about Christmas parades, giving away gifts, you know, back to school to kids, um, giving away, you know, some food to some people, some all over the, in the, the areas that are in Corozal, you know. I mostly deal with the mostly the needy person though, you know, because those are the ones that need the help in Corozal. Nomination day, uh, the day that everyone is looking forward to put their name on that ballot. But nevertheless, a little bit nervous, but at the same time, very enthusiastic, energized, and, and, and uh, words cannot I can bring to express of what the people are bringing to me here. Even though, you know, they're not present, but even work has them, but showing their support in me here. I feel very enthusiastic. I feel that we have the support of our people. I feel that our people know what's coming and it's a good message for all of us, the candidates in the street for the UDP.